In this tip video, I'm going to be showing you how to tackle the stamens in the centre of this complicated oriental poppy. The full poppy will be available as a step-by-step -step tutorial, available to subscribers of the school. The foundation of our stamens is our drawing, so it needs to be really, really accurate. I've worked from a reference photograph that I've taken myself, and I then use that photograph to take really clear, precise measurements with a ruler to make sure I'm getting those stamens in the right place. It may seem laborious, it may seem uh, like it would be very time consuming, and it does take some time. But once you've got the drawing exactly as it should be, then the painting really is a pleasure and it's a lot quicker than it would otherwise be. Here's how to start that painting. So with these stamens, the first thing I did was that I used a very pale watery wash of cobalt violet with burnt sienna and Payne's grey over the stamens themselves. And then once that was dry, I really needed to kind of isolate them and be able to see them a bit better because I just couldn't really see what was going on. And that's no good because we don't want to go over one of those stamens accidentally because we won't be able to um, take them lighter again later. So we've really got to preserve them. So what I've done is I have taken a mixture which is a very, very pale version of the dark mixture that's going to go on top of this later. And it is some Holbein Violet with some Burnt Sienna and some Payne's Grey. I'm just using a zero brush here to apply that around those stamens. And working this light means that if we accidentally go over one of those stamens, it really isn't the end of the world. We'll be able to... Um, work with the darker paint around them and still make them strong in contrast, still make them very pale. So it's kind of a safer option to get a layer of this down first. Because when we go in with this paint, as you can see, this is super dark. So this um, base coat has now completely dried and as you can see, I was working on the rest of the petals and getting a base coat down there. But now I go in with this very dark mix, which is a combination of Holbein Bright Violet, Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna. And I'm using a treble zero brush here, my smallest one, to go around. Here I've moved up to a, a slightly larger brush, I think that's a three, and I am filling in the rest of that very dark area. And just watering down a little bit where the tone needs to be a little bit different. It's not quite as dark everywhere, so pay close attention to that. And again, with that slightly watery mixture, just working down here and picking out even those little fine lines that are between the stamens, that really helps to define them. Building up around in a different area. Okay, so here I've worked on the petals and got them up to full strength. And I've also worked on the very center of the stamens there on the green part. And so I can really start to judge now how dark my stamens themselves need to come. So I'm taking a watery mixture of the same mixture that I used before. Um, so that's cobalt violet with some Payne's gray and some burnt sienna, very, very watery. And because the paint underneath is all dry, then we're not getting muddying or anything, but we're able to just work on those highlights, work on those lightest parts and take them a little bit darker. And once those highlights are dark enough, we now can see that we need to take our darkest parts of the, of the stamen area darker. So that's that background color. So again, going back to my dark thick mix and just picking out the darkest parts. So I'm making lots of visual comparisons with my photo here and trying to get the contrast levels right. So picking out details and getting things dark enough with that darker mixture and it's just these final touches that really help and again working on the darkest part so this part of the um, center of the stamen really needed darkening up with a kind of with a green mixture with plenty of Payne's grey in it and once that's dark enough again you can start to pick out some more of the details on the stamen so these stamens are having um, an extra wash of some dark color as well on them all with a treble zero brush and that mixture up the top there, that's the same stamen mixture with just a little bit more of burnt sienna in the mix. Getting those stamens dark enough around the central yellow-green centre of the stamens really helps to throw it forward. It's very luminous and it really needs that contrast being built up so that it throws it forward and makes it stand out enough because that is really the main area of contrast in the whole painting. And if you're a member, you can get a full step-by-step -step tutorial of this whole poppy in my online school. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please visit watercolourswithwow.com for information on the materials I recommend, more tip videos, my advice blog and lots more. Thanks for watching.